Well, hello, hello, hello. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed anything. I think the last time I filmed was probably March. I am getting myself ready to go to my grandma's annual Boxing Day party. Whilst I'm doing this, I thought, why not start filming? Because I do not want to let another week go by where I haven't filmed anything. So, this is me picking up my camera. Since I last filmed, I have actually invested in a ca an actual camera, a digital camera, um, mainly for filming, but I've actually taken up enjoying photography. It's kind of become a bit of a hobby. I ended up getting a bigger camera than I wanted to because my brother was actually selling one that was very good for pictures so I decided to buy that from him rather than buying a smaller one that was not as good for pictures. Updates since the last time I uploaded a video. We have moved house, we have got married and we are going through a bit of a transitional period in our lives. Just starting to think about what what does our future look like? Ignore my eyebrows. What does our future look like? Does it have kids in it? If it does, when? What careers do we want to be in? How important is career? Just asking a lot of important questions. But right now, like I say, it is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. And we are heading to my grandparents. My parents are coming with us. I've had a very lazy day. Put me up behind the schedule. I actually had a nap at about two o'clock. Which is silly. Where I am right now is currently my office at the new house. It's great, I love it. It is in progress. I'm still figuring out what I want to do with it but it's going to be for me half office, half like storage, like beauty storage, crafting storage, all that good stuff. So we moved at the end of July. It was quite, oh, didn't mean to do that on my nose the experience our movers didn't move up didn't move up our movers didn't turn up on the day we were moving so that wasn't fun luckily we had hired a van ourselves to move some things so luckily the house we were moving into was empty okay, so we ended up um because we were selling and buying in the same day so what you would typically for anyone watching this who doesn't know you would typically empty your house go to the estate agent hand over your keys uh, the transfer of funds would happen and then you would get the keys to your new house. So essentially you can't get into one house until you have essentially sold the old house. So because we only had one small van, we were not in a position to do one trip of stuff because we'd hired movers to move the whole house's worth of stuff. And we didn't have a van big enough to do all that ourselves we had to just start coming over to the new house and essentially just taking everything out of the van emptying it out into the front lawn of the new house and then going back to the old house for more so we were doing that there was me dean dean's dad and my mom before Bronzer and no blush today, which is weird for me. I'm just going to look at my bronzer. I want something very like bronzed and glowy. That's what I'm going for. So the new house. It was stressful beyond what you can imagine. Especially when we got a phone call halfway through moving our things to say that they had transferred the funds uh, without 
without telling us. So essentially we no longer have the house that we were in and we needed to go take the keys. And I will be right back. I'm back. I needed a drink and to go find my powder. Just like halfway through, I'm trying to move. We had a like delivery man from our our buyer turn up with like, gas furniture and all sorts of stuff. That was really hard. That was a really hard day, but we we got through it and we got everything in and so we got moved in and we've been cracking on with home renovations ever since. So. I, the room that I'm in currently, was probably the least dated, as it happens. It was just painted. It had some built-in woodwork on the wall behind you, but it was okay. Um, the front couple of bedrooms at, um, where I am and next door, we are pretty much there with, we just need floors and doors. Um, and then we're on with the rest of the upstairs. So carrying on, fast forward to August, we got married on a lovely sunny day on the 30th of August. Wonderful. We got married with all of our closest friends and family there. It was very nice. Then we had a big party and slept so well so many great memories that i hope i never forget and we are now in december so all we've really been on with is lots of home renovations so 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 so, so. where are we up to so it's christmas we spent Christmas at Leah's, which was good fun. I need to clean my makeup brushes because I can't find clean ones. It saved my life. So a little bit of clutter. Christmas day was great. We went out to the Indian. It was a little stressful staying at Leah's because it's four dogs and five people. I really need to invest in the new year in a red liner, lip liner. I think it would just step up the game. And if you do a red lip, do this. And that will just get off anything that would have normally got on your teeth. So, one final spray of setting spray. To lock it in. And then on with hair we go. Hairwise, I am um, dry shampoo. That's been seeking, seeking, sinking in. I really want to do this bow in my hair because I just think that will be really cute. I don't know how I'm gonna get that in. I'm very quickly running out of time so I'm gonna leave you looking like this and I'll be back looking more normal. We are just at the petrol station getting some fuel. My hair has ended up in a ponytail. I've got my ribbon in. I'm her red lip and we are just en route to my grandparents rather late because the day just got away from us. So we're gonna get petrol, pick up Dean's mum and dad and then we are going to the party. I'm happy with my makeup. I'm happy with how I look. I have realised that I do need to get a black coat look because I only have a cream one that's nice for like going out so these two are the door for another day. I'm gonna go because Dean looks like he's finished and we're gonna head over and get going. Good morning. I'm just trying to nope, <laughs> you cannot see what's there. There we go. Oh, are you bowling? Oh, that'll have to do. 
do. I come to you from my bathroom on Wednesday, 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 the 27th of December. I left you yesterday at my grandparents' house for Boxing Day. We talked, we played games. My granddad had like a trunk of all games that my mum and her sisters used to play when they were little and he got all them out so we played with all of them which was a ton of good fun. I think I got a clip of that and we've had a very lazy day. We didn't get home until after midnight. So I took my makeup off and the makeup wipe, threw on my pajamas and went to bed. So this morning I just did a bit of skincare. We are gonna go and take the dogs out for a nice walk. Um, then Teddy's got an appointment at the vets. It's the final checkup after his operation. That's one thing that I hadn't mentioned we were going through yesterday as far as my update was concerned is that he had had surgery twice in the last couple of weeks. He had eaten part of a rubber toy and had to have surgery to get that removed from his intestine. So that was not really very fun. So he's got his final vet checkup, so we're hoping to get the all clear from that. However, we shall see. So I'm just doing skincare and I'm going to throw on a big coat and some big boots because it is rainy and windy outside. And I'm going to go do his checkup and then maybe get a coffee afterwards. So I'm going to brush my teeth, I'll brush my hair, and then we'll go. So. Hello. Teddy, just be quiet. I'm just wiping out all the surfaces. I'm a little sad because I just I like the season before Christmas to like take ages. Hello. Can I help you with something? So I've got a pink shirt, no way. There's a shred of this. <laughs> you know exactly what that tastes like. Get off, stop. Sniffing my drink. You've got your own in the. What are you doing? Mm, I think I tried that. And what did I say? You said how it tastes like. So you didn't mean to have it's any? Yeah, right. You put your own in the fridge. Why well, don't you go and drink your own if you want to taste it? Hey, is this bloody hell? I didn't know this is what colour is called, fuck you. I know, because you never clean it. <laughs> so you wouldn't know, would you? Uh, am I making tea? Yeah. When? Yeah, I'm probably sure I mean, to get that in there. It is. It's good enough. It is good enough. Nothing exciting is happening in the kitchen, Teddy. Nothing exciting. Just because the door's closed doesn't mean that you're missing out. It does not. No, it doesn't.
was when the last time we spoke to you. We are going to a garden centre today just to have a look at some clearance lights after Christmas. I'm just keeping my ponytail a big curl. I'm going to go get a coffee from downstairs and then finish getting ready. We need to take the dogs out before we go. So we do need to do that, but other than that, What are you doing? Teddy. You sat on my desk when I got back. Uh, so I'm going to finish doing my makeup and finish just jumping in the shower. And then, like I say, I'm going to go take the dogs out and go to the garden centre. <laughs> mistake of leaving me alone in the Christmas section it's currently 55 no 50% off um, so I'm just gonna look at all the all of the things I've already got a snowman um I can't see him but he's in there he is so we've got him now and we've got we've got him now and some reindeer for the garden. So I'm gonna carry on looking at some stuff while he's in the bathroom. And let's see what I find. So we've got a snowman so far. We've got this guy, Dean. And we got him because he said he looks like a drunk reindeer. And then we've got one of those wrapping head cut things. So um, this is the section I'm currently in. I'm going to carry on another look. I'd like to get some extra bits. But let's see what I can find. I really like this little guy. This little guy here. And these tablecloths. We haven't got our new table for the kitchen yet, so I don't know if it's going to be square or round, so I don't know if to get one or not. I'd say a top tip for buying Christmas stuff would be to come just after Christmas to have a look what's left because everything that's Christmas related is 50% off. So we've got that snowman for 45 instead of 790, so I definitely would recommend it. I feel like I'm a bit spoiled for trying to have so much stuff to share as well. It's like Christmas all over again. There's so much that's been like drama. Obviously, a lot of people have the same idea as us to come and get some decorations and style. It's currently in the miniature tree section at the moment. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff, but like, I kind of want some. Like some ornaments rather than like baubles. I want some stuff to like put in the house. I'm not finding a lot of that, but I'm gonna keep looking and I will let you know what I'm like. I am looking all day till disheveled because I've just been having a lie down with the dogs after we got back from the garden centre and dinner. And just been having a bit of a rest because I ate way too much pizza. So I am just going to freshen up a little and then I'm gonna head downstairs and I think we're gonna play maybe some more games. It is 10 to 9 at night so I don't think we're gonna be up for much longer. I want to get on with some home improvement stuff tomorrow maybe. We were potentially going to go somewhere with my sister, but she's not feeling very well, so I don't know if that's going to happen. So if it doesn't happen, then home improvement stuff, it does the home improvement stuff on Saturday. But I'm going to 
just to get myself freshened up. I'm gonna switch into some coffee colours and then go play some again. This bright, this light is so bright. The first thing I'm gonna do is just straighten out the bed because no one likes to come to bed to an unmade bed. And since I've gotten back into it, but since we've got home, it's currently unmade. So I'm just gonna straighten things up. I've currently got a little, I need to show somebody. To somebody sleeping. Mm -hmm. Be a good boy. Open your shoes. If you don't like wounds or stitches, then skip ahead about 10 seconds or so. But this is his poorly little incision site. It's looking much, much better. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's so. Oh, you can be so much. Mm. Um, so these are my festive Christmas pajamas. Um, if you do not get matching Christmas, matching, matching, matching Christmas pajamas for your family, I definitely recommend you do it. We did it for ourselves, and then we got the dogs matching badmans for Christmas. So on Christmas morning, we were all wearing the same. So that was good fun. Definitely would recommend it. But I'm gonna switch into these, get my slippers on, and then we're gonna go, I'm gonna go downstairs and have a drink and play some games. I'm half in pajamas. I'm just gonna switch on my fairy lights. up to try and spruce up our room because <sighs> renovations hit hard so we did that to make it feel a little bit less like the state that it is so I'm gonna take off my lipstick put some Moisturizer on. I have been wearing a cup lipstick for most of the day. So I'm gonna change into my pajama top and get some Vaseline on my lips. So let's do that now. Play a game. Yeah, I'm making hot chocolate. Yeah, I don't have any whipped cream, that's the only thing missing. What? It's looking like I think that's cute. I can't wait to taste it. Let me try mine on camera. Punk. Better scrub. Ten out of ten. Good morning. It is Saturday the thirtieth of Jan, not January. December. I can't remember the last thing that I filmed because we had a rather lazy day yesterday and I don't know if I filmed anything since the day before. But I've just had a shower, I've just put some lounge clothes on, I'm just going over my to-do list and there is some stuff that I want to get them today, so I'm just going to spend five minutes just 
looking at now that. Okay, I have it to my list. I've got a nice little long list here. So I need to <coughs> We are downstairs and I guess just looking for some breakfast. It is a rather miserable day today. Show you outside. That is what we are working with. It is pouring it down. Got a little helper. Hi, Jenny. Asking what he wants, he's gonna take me to the tray cupboard. Do you wanna see? What do you want? Show me. Let me take it down. Show me. They don't live there anymore, do they? The treats aren't there anymore. They used to be on the shelf here. Show me. Where are they? Where are your treats? They're not there anymore. Where do they live now? You've remembered now, have you? Ah, ah, ah. Sit down. Gently. Good boy. Tyson, sit. There you go. Good boys. Come on now. Let's get out of here. I'm going to show you some of the baubles that we got this year for our Christmas tree. Because I'm just stood here looking at it and I thought, I'm going to show you. So, we got this as a gift, a Christmas gift. It's like a yellow taxi with a Christmas tree on top because we went to New York this year. I made this one. This is just a glass bauble and it's got all bits from our wedding in it. So bits from a wedding invite, flowers, that sort of thing. My sister also had the same idea. And this is our entire wedding invitation inside a bauble. And then we got this little guy, a little squirrel on the sled because when we were in Central Park in New York, a little squirrel came running up to us looking for some nuts. I thought that was quite funny breakfast of choice today. Goodness me, it has been a minute since we last spoke. I'm just looking up. I'm just getting back into some comfy clothes. We have run some errands. We went and did a food shop. I picked up a parcel. And since we've got home, let me just shut this curtain. So, since I've got home, I have prepped some some um like sweet treats to take with us to my grandparents tomorrow for new year's eve if we're feeling up to it because quite frankly i feel a bit rubbish my throat hurts definitely coming down with some sort of cold so I'm not happy about that but what i am actually just about to do is organize my wrapping paper box. So what I'm doing now is sorting through all the cat toys. I've done this the last couple of Christmases. Every time the pets get some more toys, I go through all of their toys, throw away any ones that are gross, and throw away any that they don't play with anymore. I've got a helper who's just overseeing this mountain of toys that I've just pulled out. Are you just making sure I'm not throwing away your favourite? Hmm? Hmm? Just checking. Are you looking at the camera? Come in here, want to see your bottom? Come on. Right, 
So first things first, this is broken. You've broken this, so that's gonna have to go. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Excuse me. So we have got our donate pile, and our rubbish pile, and dog toy. That was quick and easy. Just going to bag up the donuts because I've got a bag of dog donuts downstairs that I need to go in the car. So at the same time, I'll put these in the car and then I'm going to have a look at where I can take them. The closest um, dog RSPCA near us is about an hour away but I'm not sure about cat rescue I can't remember where I donated them last time I think it was Yorkshire cat rescue that I donated them to but I best go check with Dina I'm okay to donate them and so the sentimental attachments I use to always let them see the others <laughs> boxes for the loft because the ones that we have we have our old loft and our old loft didn't have like um vertical joists our new loft does which means unless we just want to start up in the middle which is where we kind of need to walk we can't fit anything between them so i'm just going to go to bnq and see if we've got some storage boxes in that are narrower so i took measurements of the joist gaps I've got my tape measure with me so I can check that the potential boxes will fit but we want something obviously narrower but still a decent size but also something that is sturdy because the problem we have with the boxes we have currently because they're just like cheap ones is the lids don't really securely fasten to the boxes so when we're passing stuff like our Christmas stuff up and down through the loft, it is just a game of chance as to whether the lid's going to fly off. So something like that has handles that clip on is is what we're aiming for. But when I looked online, it said it couldn't tell me if there are any in stock, which makes me think that there isn't. But I'm going to have a look anyway because it's currently four for three, so four for the price of three. And they're not massively expensive. They're between 15 and 20 pound a box, but when we might potentially need to get about 30 of them, you know, where you can save, save. So that's what I'm off to do at the moment. I've got my iced tea. It is really, really cold today. What's the temperature? It says it's seven degrees, so I don't know if it's the rain that's making it feel colder. I'm not sure. I'm about to drive past that old house. Our old house is on the road out of the town that we live in. Not even a town that we live in a village really and it's always very strange driving past the house that we used to live in and seeing someone else living in it it's very odd but I'm gonna go I'm gonna crack on some music try and wake myself a bit I am fighting off a little bit of a cold and I'm still umming and ahhing about whether or not 
I want to or should go to my grandparents' New Year's Eve party. So I need to see how I feel over the next couple of hours. And if I don't feel great and I don't want to pass on any germs, then we won't go. But we shall see. So you probably can tell from the um, water on my glasses, it is pouring it down. I just got soaked going to get my next parcel. And I've got it. <clears throat> However, I did forget one thing. Drink break first. It's actually Sunday. So B&Q and also Danelle, which I've decided since last, spe last speaking to you, that was going to go to you as well. Close at four o'clock and it's currently 20 to four. So I won't make it to the next town over to have a look for the things I need. So I've just got my parcel. I'm going to go home and do some bits at home. And it will have to be a job for in the week, actually. I'm just going to pop you. I'm going to put you. I'll pop you there. I brought my to do list notebook with me so that I could check off anything that I did. This is it. I cannot remember for the life of me where I got this from. I feel like it was like Sainsbury's or possibly TK Maxx. And I just love it. So, what did you find today? Can you hear the rain? I hope you can hear that. So, Sunday. So, I've picked up my next parcel that I have done. can't do that I will have to do that on Tuesday can I show you my outfit I feel like this is just a good, a good like holiday dress that will age well with my shape. And the tights, I've been walking around in them. They seem quite comfortable. So, £12 was worth it. <laughs> 